Hello, this is Trog, and welcome back to How to Skyblock. Today, I will be showing you how to generate cobblestone. I have three designs for everyone, and uh, two of which are multiplayer friendly, so you and your friends playing on Skyblock can use it. So, first thing we need to do is, uh, is get some water from that island over there. Now, when you're doing this, remember to do bottom slabs here, because otherwise you will have to light them up with torches. And now that I have bridged all the way out over there, I'm going to grab my bucket and walk very carefully over here. Now, if you are nervous about this, you can make it... Uh, a lot bigger but obviously I am a skyblock pro and I never fall so that is oh my gosh I'm actually scared I'm like jumping towards the edge <laughs> okay I'm done I'm done and at the island you will see that there is a infinite source of water here you can just pick it up and uh, carefully walk back again and don't jump Close to the edge, like I am. <laughs> it's freaking me out. No, no, no. Especially if you go zigzag like this. This is even worse. <laughs> and you thought I actually fell. <sighs> I would, I would never. Stop that. <laughs> okay, so the first design I'm going to show you is this design here, but only I'm going to be making it over here. Now that we have our water... I should probably not take <laughs> the same risks that I was before. So now that we've got our infinite water source, here is how to make the cobblestone generator we have over there. This is just a different way of making it so that you can see all the blocks and stuff that goes in. So the first thing you want to do is kind of make this shape here. And then off of that, in this layer, you can build up and around like this and then over here is where the lava is going to be I like to put something that you can't break with a pickaxe so like a chest or uh, or maybe a crafting table um, the cobblestone will be here and then you come around like this for your final blocks now you just put the water here and the lava here and there is your cobblestone generator. This next farm is a two-person farm, and it is what Schism and Impulse SV have been using on their series um, with a slight modification, and that is two stairs here that are waterlogged. So you can go ahead and place water in both of those stairs. Next, you want to place blocks in this pattern like so. And we're going to go up another block here and place cobblestone here because this is going to be where the cobble forms. And lastly, you'll be placing blocks in a pattern like that. Now you can place water here and here. And finally, lava here. Now, as you can see, we mine these two blocks and they regenerate, the water pushes them back. Now, I warn you not to use this farm because it is actually pretty inefficient in the way it uh, it does things here. It will burn a lot more cobblestone than the other one that we made over there. So, this next one is going to be your multiplayer one. I just made this farm because it is a common one that people use. This last farm is a farm that I actually built myself. I spent a lot of time with this, uh, this lab coat working on it, so I hope you all enjoy this one. This is actually a very efficient farm. The first thing you want to do is put a crafting table in the center, and then you want to make a plus shape with stone here, and you want to put stairs in the corners like so. And after that, you can make a ring all the way around what you just made. 
and now you can waterlog all four stairs. Then place four blocks in each side like this. Now place blocks so that these corners are covered. Four cobblestone here. Your lava. And four more buckets of water. Now you and three other friends can step up and start mining and make sure your pickaxe is trying to break the crafting table after you've mined the cobblestone and you should be good to go. Oh, and you put a block on top of the lava. I can't believe I forgot that during my tutorial, my very cinematic looking tutorial. So uh, let me know in the comments if you liked that and I'll keep doing that. I thought that it would be a better way to show you how to build something if you could see it from a whole bunch of different angles. So hopefully you enjoyed that. But next episode we will be getting food because as you can see I am very very hungry and this won't even get me up to full haunches so we will be working on that in the next episode if you have anything you want me to teach you let me know in the comments below and i will do that so until the next video this has been trog and i hope you learned something